Welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Today's topic is why he won't marry you. Why he won't marry you. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So, at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions. And I would either answer them privately through the email, or I would share them online with the collective. And it can be your decision. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store. And you find a link in the description. Now it's time for our daily affirmation. And we do these affirmations to help with your spiritual growth. And here it is. I am connected to the divinity in me. You know, people. Your connection with the divine is in you. I am connected to the divinity in me. You want to connect to that spirit. I am connected to the divinity in me. Let this affirmation go deep into your spirit and be a blessing to you today. Now it's time for movement. And we do these movements to get our blood circulating. And just helps us to feel good for the day. Now today's movement, we're going to do a body movement. What we're going to do is just move our bodies like this. Just turn from the waist. Alright? We're going to do it for five times. Let's go this way first. Ready? Let's go. One, two, now turn, three, turn, four, turn, five. How does that feel? Now let's go the other way. Sit up straight now. One, two, three, turn. Or oh, turn five. You know it's important that we move our bodies just a little bit every day. Now let's dive into this message. Why won't he marry you? I did pull a video. Let's watch this video and then we're going to talk about this issue. All right, here we go. What benefit do you get as a man of being married? Ask yourself that. There literally is nothing besides, oh, gee, I get to spend God knows how much money on a ring, which I don't mind doing, but that's not a benefit for me. Spend a lot of money on a ring for this girl. I get to now give my life pretty much to this girl and my time, my energy to this girl. And you know what? She now has a very huge chunk of my money and my life. And she can literally do one thing like that and bring me to jail or bring me to court, take all my money. And if I have kids with her, she will take my kids and take even more of my money in my life. Just like that. Huh? What benefit do I get from being married as a man? I really don't see much at all or if any at all. If it honestly feels like it's for the for the lady, more of more of which, which is why a majority of ladies are always excited to get married and always excited to tell their other girlfriends that they got married. Do you ever see a lot of guys that are real excited saying, oh, I just got married. Hey guys, I just got married. Oh my God. You don't see that very much. Have you ever questioned why? It's not really a, 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 male, a male celebration. Don't get me wrong, there are a few. Like me, I would be very happy that I got married. 
knowing that this girl is for sure going to be like, you know, but you never know. So that's why it's not really an exciting thing because it's never exciting to know that you just gave half your life and your money on the line now to someone who can definitely take it away from you and flip it on you. Things that he will say when he doesn't want to marry you. He will give a list of things that he needs to get done before he can marry you. And now, you know, other guys will come in the comments and probably be like, no, that's the truth. Da, da, da. Um, quiet. He will say he has to reach milestones in life before he can marry you. Now, any real one knows that a man will take you to the courthouse, buy you a quick ring and upgrade that motherfucker when he gets to his milestones before he loses the woman of his dreams. He will get a second job. He will do what he needs to do if he knows that you are the woman that he wants to marry. If he's telling you that he has to reach this goal and that goal and this goal and that goal, he doesn't see you coming with him on that journey. He sees his goals as the most important, and whomever is there when he reaches those goals will be the woman that he marries. Now, there are probably some women that have gotten a ring after waiting around for the goals. Kudos to you. I'm not saying that every man is like this, but majority of men that list life goals as to when they are going to get married are not going to marry you. Okay, ladies. You know, we have been groomed from little girls to get married. To us, this is the epitome of success in life. To, to get married and have a family. It's ingrained in, in our brains from little girls that this is the way it should be for us to feel like we have succeeded in life. Ladies, times are changing. And they have changed. Many men don't want to get married. Period. And I'll tell you why they don't. You know, uh, they talked about it in the video. Many of them fear that if the marriage breaks up, which a lot of them do, that he's going to be on the losing end because he's going to lose half of his stuff and half of his money, half of his resources and a lot of things if it breaks up. Now look at this, ladies. When a man wants to marry, when he wants a wife and a family, it is his responsibility to support them, support a wife Support a family. Now, if a man can't afford that, well, then he shouldn't get married. If he cannot support a wife and children, if he has them, then he should get married. If he feels like he needs a wife to help him support his family, I say he still shouldn't get married. It's a man's responsibility to support his own family. If he can't do that, then he doesn't need a wife or a family, ladies. Now, where does this leave you? Because you want to get married. You're out here looking for husbands. When I tell you, don't look for a man. But still, you're out here trying to find a mate. And the men are running away from you because they don't want to marry you. All right. Do you see the chase? You running after the men, and they're running away from you. Men today don't want the responsibility of supporting a wife and a family, period. Many of them don't. Many of them in their minds feel they can't. They don't want to. And plus, they feel like they can get out of you what they need and what they want without marrying you. Because as a girlfriend, many of us would go in taking care of him, washing and cleaning for him, giving him all the sex he wants, thinking and hoping that your relationship is going to go to the next level of marriage. And this man has no intention of marrying you, period. Now, he'll make you believe that eventually you'll get to the next step of engagement and marriage. Many of them would do that. And many women would get frustrated during this time and intentionally get pregnant 
to push the man toward marriage. That's the wrong thing to do, ladies. That's the wrong thing to do. Don't try to trap a man into marriage. It's only going to turn out horrible for you. Now, in the beginning, when you're dating and you bring up marriage, you want to see how he's thinking about it. You bring it up. Many men will tell you what they know that you want to hear just to get in a relationship, just to get in an intimate relationship with you. They'll tell you, yeah, you know, I want to get married. I'm just uh, hoping to find the right one. And then he'll say, of course, you know, you could be the right one. And now your hopes are up. Now you're willing to do anything. To show this man that you are marriage material. Ladies, don't do that. Don't do that. You're just setting yourself up for heartbreak. Men will tell you anything for sex or to get out of you whatever they need out of you. Whether it's money, sex, or your resources. They'll tell you anything. And here you go, because you have been groomed now, groomed for marriage. From a little girl, you've been groomed for marriage. But men have not been groomed to be husbands at all. They have been groomed by other men to use you because you want marriage. To use and abuse you. And make you think, make you think that they want to marry you. So that they can get out of you whatever they need and want. Now, what happens when a man decides he wants to marry somebody? He would do all the things that you do to get married. He'll do it. He'll do it. When he rolls up on someone that he wants to marry, that he feels like is his dream, he'll do anything and everything to push that relationship toward marriage. He will. He'll bend over backwards. He'll be the best provider, the best protector, the best supporter for the right woman for him. The one that he deems as the right one for him. So ladies, if you're with a man that gives you the old who and how about marriage, he's not the right one for you. He doesn't want to marry you. And if you try to trick him into marrying you, and what's the lady's biggest trick? Getting pregnant. You get pregnant and try to push the man into marrying you, Most times it doesn't turn out well because he didn't want to marry you in the first place. So in the marriage, he'll cheat and mistreat you and probably won't have provide for you because he did not want to marry you in the first place. Ladies, when men are with a woman that they decide they want to marry, Because men, when they roll up on the woman of their dreams, it'll flip. They really want to marry this woman. And they'll do everything, any and everything, to get her to the altar. But if he is not doing that for you, he doesn't want to marry you. You want to marry him, and many times you'll be the one doing everything to show this man why he should marry you. Ladies, that's the wrong way to go. That's the wrong way to go. Many men are afraid of marriage. Because, like they said in the video, they're afraid to lose their resources by marrying you. And they don't feel like you are worth it. Now, if they... Roll up on a woman 
that they feel is worth losing half of what they have, they don't have a problem with marrying her because that's what they want. They want her. They want her in their lives. So they'll sacrifice at all to have what they really want. But for you, if they're not willing to sacrifice for you, they don't really want to marry you. Some men will be with you 20 years and you will hang on wondering, well, why he ain't marry me? Because he doesn't want to. Because he doesn't feel like you are worth it to him. He always feels like he may roll up on the better deal. He may roll up on the one that he really wants Why he's stuck married to you. He doesn't want that. He doesn't feel like you are worth it to him to marry you. Ladies, get this through your head. I know it can be hurtful to realize it. You're with a man years and years and years, and you keep bringing up, why don't we get married? Why you don't marry me? He, you know, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want you. He doesn't feel like you are worth it. That's why he won't marry you. When a man, I'm telling you, when he meets the woman of his dreams, <laughs> she won't be able to get rid of him. He'll do everything to get her attention. He will sacrifice for her and he will treat her like a queen. You know, I heard uh, a man say that women today feel like they are queens and they don't have to do anything to get a man. Ladies, if you are this way, continue to be that way. That's right. The man is the one. If he wants you, he's the one to chase you. If he wants to marry you, he is the one that needs to pursue you, to woo you, to marry him. You are the prize. Don't ever forget it. And don't let anybody make you feel otherwise. You see? Because when you go into a relationship with a man, or if you marry a man, you're going to end up <laughs> doing everything for him. Making him happy. Now this is the norm. There are some women who will go in and, and the man will continue to take care of the woman and do everything that she desires. This is a man who has got the woman of his dreams. He'll do any and everything to have her and to keep her. Now, how about your other these other women who just get married? They, they want to get married. They go in willing to pay half of everything just to have him to come when he comes home you know his meals are cooked his clothes are clean his house is spotless you are doing everything to hold on to this man because you want this marriage so bad but does he is he reciprocating that energy back to you most times he's not He's enjoying everything that you're doing for him because he feels like that's what a wife is supposed to do. So he'll go to work. And in today's society, you going to work, too, because you got to pay half. He pay half and you pay half. I believe if a man wants a wife, he should be able to afford a wife. If he wants children, he should be able to afford children. Now, what's going on is because women want to be married so bad. Men have changed it and says that we have to do it together. We're going to be like partners in this. Okay? You pay your half, I'll pay my half, and we'll come together and do it like this. Because it takes two. This is the man's mindset. It takes two. When it used to take one, it used to take one when men were real men. But now with these soft, weak men, it takes two. 
And women, here you are. You're willing to go into these arrangements because the man has convinced you that it takes two. So you go in knowing that you're going to have to work, have his babies, and help him to take care of you and his children. <laughs> Ladies, come on. What do you need him for, for that? Think about it, ladies. Think about it. Why do you need this man? So that you can live in a bigger house? And that's not necessarily true all the time. At all. Even if you are working. Now what about women who get married? He, she working, he working. He decides, you know, he's tired of her. Or he sees somebody else he likes better. And she's got children. A man will take off. And go for greener grass. Married or not. He'll go for greener grass. And where's she? She got to continue to work. To survive. And take care of the kids. And he's going on off. To do his thing. Because many times he didn't want to get married anyway. But you did. You wanted to get married. You see, I hear um, men advising women to give a man an ultimatum to get married. Say, we well, either we get married or we're, we're going to be over. Why? Why do you want to give him an ultimatum? And why do you want to be married that bad that you feel like you need to give him an ultimatum? If he has been with you for years... Years now, not, not months, years. You feel like you know him. He knows you. You feel comfortable. And of course, you've been intimate, intimate all the way. But now you're wondering why he won't marry you. Well, number one, he's getting everything he wants from you free. He's getting everything that he wants from you. You're just giving it to him. So, that's one reason why he won't marry you. Why, why should he? When he's getting everything he wants from you without making a real commitment to you. And he's not making a real commitment to you. And it could be a hard pill for you to swallow. But he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to make a commitment to you. He doesn't think you're worth it, ladies. That's a hard pill for you to swallow. That you have given everything you have, your body, your time, your energy to this man for years. And now you realize he won't marry you because he doesn't think that you're worth it. You're not worth it to him to give you half of what he has if it breaks up. Listen, when men marry who they really desire and want to marry and want to be with for the rest of their lives. They plan to take care of that woman no matter what. No matter what. Even if it breaks up. Many of them will still take care of her because they truly wanted her. They truly love her. And they'll do everything to keep it together. Because she is an important part of his life. If your man is not doing that, you're not worth it to him. That's the bottom line. And that's the hard pill that is hard for you to swallow. Ladies, open your eyes and know what you're dealing with. Don't try to force a man to marry you or to give him an ultimatum to marry you. If it's not his idea, <laughs> you're walking into a trap, ladies. You're not going to have a happy life with this man that you had to give an ultimatum to to marry you. Don't do it. Don't take that advice. If you desire to marry, 
Then you have to ask for it, number one. You have to ask and you have to be patient and wait until the right person comes along that shows you that they want to marry you. Now, ladies, you must use your discernment with this. Don't marry the first man that comes along that wants to marry you. You need to take time to know who he really is. Because if he's a narcissist, and narcissists want to marry you quick, within a few months of meeting you, because they have to have a secure main supply. A secure main supply. So that's why they want to marry the main supply. So you have to be careful of that. Don't marry a man that you just met a few weeks ago, a few months ago. That's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. You don't know these people. And they don't know you. So if they want to marry you right there, there's an intent behind that. And it's not a good intent. Because if they had good intentions about wanting to marry you, they wouldn't rush into it. They would take time to make sure that you both are compatible and on the same page, speak in the same language, feel the same way about each other, and that you can trust each other. Trust is very important in these connections. Ladies, look at marriage. And don't be fooled by what you learn in your houses of worship about marriage. You within yourself, sit down with it and meditate on it. Marriage, is this what you really want? Realizing that so many men out here don't want to marry you. They don't want to marry, period. Men today are not being groomed to be husbands. They are groomed to be chauvinistic, misogynist men who take advantage of women. Not to marry women. Not to be a good foundation for women. Taking care of their wives and their families and making sure everything is good. Providing and protecting. Men are not groomed for that. Not even in their houses of worship. Uh-uh. They're not. They're not. And women are now being groomed to be the man's helpmate. What do you need to help him for? That's why you go and pay in half. Because religion teaches you that you were created to help a man. Ladies. You were not created to help a man. A man needs to help himself. Help himself. You were a, created as a gift. As a gift to the man. And the man needs to treat you as a precious gift. You are not created to be his workhorse. Ladies. So, you know, the topic of this video is why men won't marry you. Why he won't marry you. Don't feel bad and don't beg it. If you have been with a man and given him, most times you've already given him your all, trying to show him what a good wife you would make, stop doing it. Stop, ladies, stop doing that. Stop cooking for him. Stop washing for him. Cleaning for him. Caring for him. Stop it. Unless he is doing that for you. And most times he's not. Most times he's not. Ladies, if a man wants to marry, and if he is looking for a wife, he will let you know that. You won't have to guess it at all. 
if a man tries to rush you to sex, he is not looking for a wife. He's looking to have fun. And to him, that's what sex is, just fun. But ladies, you get caught up because your emotions are involved when you have sex. So now you thinking it's one thing when he's just having a good time. Ladies know the difference. Men today really don't want to get married. Many of them. So know that. And stop looking for a husband. Stop looking for him. If you desire a husband, go into your meditation and ask for one. And wait. And wait. And when the right one shows up, he'll let you know that that's what he wants. But then you make him prove that he is the right man for you. You don't just scoop him up just because he showed up. All right. Ladies, I hope that you understand the message today. Men have changed. They are groomed differently today. They are not groomed to be your husband. They're not groomed for that. Men today are being groomed to take care of themselves and to guard themselves against you women. They're on guard against you. And you are doing everything you can. Changing your appearance. Going out, stripping off your clothes. Showing him everything you have. To thinking that he wants to marry you. <laughs> Even the marriages that come out of that don't last. Because he didn't marry you for that. He didn't marry you because he loved you. He married you for lust. If that's the way you presented yourself to him. He'll marry you for lust, but it won't last. Because the foundation is not based on love, people. Understand what's going on in the world. And understand what's going on with men. Stop running after them. Stop giving them ultimatums. It's only going to hurt you in the end, ladies. If the man doesn't want to marry you, then he is not the right one for you. Let him go. Don't continue with him trying to prove to him what a wonderful wife you would make. Love yourself, ladies. Know your own value, your own worth. And don't allow any man to make you feel differently about that. I hope that the message today helps someone. And I hope that you understand it. Now, for those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here's the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World. YT at Hotmail.com That's Miss Faye's World. YT at Hotmail.com And try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize the situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of your letter and I will comply. I want to thank you so much for your comments and your letters. And a special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all happiness and I really hope to see you next time.